Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about shift left function in the structure test and also see its visualization. Okay, let's start. First of all, we can create a POU giving the name shift left and we are going to use structure test. Okay, now it's added. Let us call the program over here. Double click. Please select which program we need to add. Click card. That's all. Now both are added in task. Let us declare all the variables which we are using. First of all, weird shift, which we weird I am using. I'm using weird 10 mw dot c 10. Okay. Second, I'm using a trigger. So let us give a name. Center we are using select is a boolean variable and this how I am doing it. If we make that select true, this 20.0 boolean variable becomes true. Boolean that is a memory bit. Below we are going to give trigger. The clock which we are going to give is pulse, which we used in Blink Logic. GBL dot pulse shift. Okay. Then we can give an if condition. In this if condition we are going to give shift left function if our trigger instant dot q and we are going to take the rising edge of that trigger okay. where shift is again same as to shr okay where shift just copy and paste down here okay do comma one this one is actually the one bit by bit shift from left or right to left so okay, shifting from right and to the left yes Okay, let's see there is some issue. Let it be running. Okay. Make it true. Mm. Let's change it to binary. Then it is easy to check bitwise shifting is happening or not. Okay, in this uh, GVL for uh, pulse shift is not working, so it should be blinking with a two second delay. So let us check. Okay, we need to hear that global variable was not using. We can change it over here. Okay, now let's see. Run and now the pulse is working. Here, yeah, make it true. Yeah, and then we can see that the bits are shifting left. If 20.0 is true, then one is shifting from left, from right to left. If it is zero, zero is shifting. Now let us make a visualization for this bit shifting. Okay, visualization out object. Okay. SHL function just give any name art okay now it's order this is the toolbox you can place any to amp okay 
that was a line Okay, let us give the variable from this side. Mm, from mx 20.0, first one. Second, mx 20.1. And the other one is mx 20.2, for 20.3, like that, till 20.7. Okay, let us add one more for 20.7. Uh, we are using 20 byte. Okay. Let us add one more switch for say, that uh, turning on and off. Let us give the variable for this. You can select it from this one. Application, shift F, select. Okay, if it is on, the mm -hmm. shift is this 20.0. First bit is it is true. Okay, let us run. Yes. Okay. Just play start. Now the pulse is working. It is also shifting. Now it's off. Shifting. Now it's on. One is shifting from left or right to left. In the next video, we are going to learn about the shift right function and its visualization. Let's wait for that. Thanks for watching.